The Trump administration joins in the defense of an Ohio law that would ban abortion providers from performing an abortion if they are aware that a diagnosis of Down syndrome or the possibility of Down syndrome is influencing the decision. The Sixth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals heard the arguments yesterday in a rare full court hearing. Joining me now is Eric Dryban, Assistant Attorney General of the Civil Rights Division at the U.S. Justice Department. Mr. Dryban, thanks so much for coming on. Well, thank you, Tracy. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, I know the Justice Department filed a friend of the court brief in support Support of the law. Explain to us why that was important to do. Well, on behalf of President Trump and Attorney General William Barr, uh, we decided that it was important for us to notify the Court of Appeals that the United States government believes that the law passed by the state of Ohio complies fully with the Constitution, that it is an appropriate measure to protect both the lives of unborn children with Down syndrome and that it sends a proper a message to the public at large that people with Down syndrome have lives that are worth living and protecting. Um, this measure was on hold for a while, since about 2017. Some say it's unconstitutional, but the government disagrees with that. Can you explain? Yes. The, the law passed by the state of Ohio is a carefully balanced measure that both protects the lives of unborn, that is, those pr diagnosed prenatally with Down syndrome, but also it protects women. Uh, from possible coercion by abortion providers. And there is evidence in the record in the case that at least some portion of abortion providers do in engage in coercion of women upon receiving a diagnosis of Down syndrome. And so we thought, and we believe, and we argued to the court that the, the um, the Ohio law fully complies with the Constitution. Yeah, and that was one of the questions I was going to ask you about the coercion. So you covered that. Anything else you want to expand upon when it comes to that? Well, I think it's important to note that the, that the, the law has an important public purpose uh, in that it notifies both the individuals who, are, who receive a diagnosis with Down syndrome that they cannot be coerced by any medical provider into having an abortion, but it also sends a message to the public by protecting the integrity of the medical profession, uh, by sending a message that doctors cannot knowingly perform an abortion if they know the reason is a prenatal diagnosis of Down syndrome. And we think that's important uh, for the integrity of the medical profession as well as protecting women and unborn children. Um, can you talk about the broader implications of the case when it comes to protecting people with disabilities from discrimination? Well, the Americans with Disabilities Act is a federal law that protects people against disability discrimination, including individuals who live with Down syndrome. It's a law that we at the Civil Rights Division enforce, and it's been a public policy of the United States for a long time, for several decades, that discrimination against people with disabilities is unlawful under federal law. Uh, we think the Ohio law is consistent with the purpose of the Americans with Disabilities Act in that it does make a statement that individuals with Down syndrome uh, have value and they, have, they are entitled to equal dignity before the law like everyone else. Uh, I know we've been reading a lot, too, about other countries that have, um, I guess, high rates of abortion for those with Down syndrome, countries like Iceland. Can you talk about that and maybe how this kind of relates to it? There, there is evidence in the case that certain countries have near 100 percent rates of abortion uh, when uh, there are prenatal diagnoses of Down syndrome. Uh, that is of concern, I think, of anyone um, and should be, especially coupled with evidence that uh, there, there, at least at times, that some women are coerced into having abortions after they receive that kind of diagnosis. The evidence in the record is that the, the percentages in this country are not as high as, they're not near 100 percent, but they are higher than one might expect. Right. Thank you so much for being on and shedding more light on this. We appreciate it. Well, thank you, Tracy. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thank you.